Side quests. Two side quests. Even forged a button. <sighs> Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Mm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Sorry. My mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. <laughs> Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm not from here, my guy. I'm new. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupor's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Carving out a niche. Oh my God, we are really choring. We were so close to leaving here. Like, why don't you give us these side quests when we were like in the middle of the Ask regular the bullshit? Test and turn it into a riddle. I better get to it. Is it true what I'm hearing? My carpet. Three side quests. Jesus. Fuck. Silk... Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat, no problem, but sinew dulls sheep steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. The baths are, um, uh, closed for scrubbing. Please bear with us a little longer. Everything I've worked for, ruined. All those years of toil, every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. <laughs> On second thought, Perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you, go to Dusnoff Terraces Tell me what you find there. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths 
are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. I get, I'll take the renown. I will guess I'll take the fucking renown. There's still more to discover here in this map. Yeah. Just look at the hanging lantern. Ha! They've opened the gate. Lubo was true to his word. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Yeah. Yes, they're quite sought after. Lord Kupka has several similar pieces in his collection. Is it true what I'm hearing? Herbs You're going to drink my pockets. <sighs> I need to drink. The stoutest stoneware. Needed to a silken softness. Like Put a knife a with an edge like Odin's cuts. razor in my hand, and I'll make short work of any carcass. Yes, they're quite sought after. I'll be asking for you again, my sweet. A thousand gil for a mean We should get going soon. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kupka. Ha, <sighs> just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Tomeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kupka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan.
Drake's fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Come on, girl, the gate's open now. We can press on. It is beautiful. Like all the sodium deposits here. I'm assuming these are like sodium deposits. What the hell? What are those things? There are what's causing the water to be hot. Taken up residence in the springs. You'll turn back if you know what's good for you. Mm. By the flames, that explains the heat. Already. Let's cool things down a bit. Let's hope it's enough to keep the baths from boiling.
do steps, bro? Yeah, I'm assuming we're not coming back to destroy Drake's Fang without Joe. to ride from here we should get going soon Do you have water? I've got a crystal what is it I mean no move for charter sorry do you mind if I ask your trade hunter why I have a question can you tell me what makes a good carving knife I assume you use one out in the field oh. um as to be able to put up with some punishment. Don't be dealing with a brittle blade. Not while I'm on the hunt. Mm -hmm. Your knife snaps every time you use it. You'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. Good business, eh? Man after my own heart. So, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Let's hope Sava had better luck than I did. Make our way back to the Fang now, at least. Yeah, but what would be the point with the mines still? Sweet incense, what black candle? Silver yes. platters. Take a sniff, good sir. Your interest. So. How'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his... Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. But no. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but I have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Agreed. Luba wouldn't like that much. Nope. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light, meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. <laughs> is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant, a favorite of Forge Master Lubor's, who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Mm, so now you're not going to sell me yet. Oh. You are sending me out. Well, this is nice. Come on, run like the wind. You really are sending me out.
be safe. Any luck? Or will you be needing help with your bags? Well, I asked her, but... <laughs> you tell him. If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. You need to urge. Are there any materials you need to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said that Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, I mean, there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low-quality iron. Bloody hell! That must be it! I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality, but I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I, uh, hate to ask after all that you've done for me, but... The limestone? Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. Besides, Good. I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. I can't thank you enough, Clive. <laughs> You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. The place is bloody made of it. Then I suppose I'll meet you back at the forge. Right you are. I'll see you shortly. Let me do this. Let's go. Yeah. Deserve a rest. I guess we'll stop at the baths. Is it true what I mean? Go out to the terrace. Come back. Stay from all the chorin. And then we'll go after Koopa on another session. I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. I got no money, but I got 15 renown. You tell a fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something new to worry about. But I've burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right. It's high time More I got to the day might yet be salvaged. More charm. Did this, did this level me up? Oh, I'm gonna say if it didn't level me up, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be extremely pissed if it didn't. We should get going soon.
Come on. Oh, it was literally right here. So it's limestone. I thought it was salt deposit. I should probably know my minerals, dipshit. One rock looks a lot like another. But hopefully this is what Seven needs. Change for a great sorts. Right, right. Okay. I wasn't sure how much you'd need, but I hope this is enough. You are one of the good ones, you know that. You and that merchant both, she's got quite a gift for teaching that one. Now, time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for. <sighs> That'll do, I reckon. A knife forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. Her spirit, if you will. It's a fine-looking blade. Yeah. I only hope Master Lubor agrees. That sounds like my cue. And just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. I'm, I'm sorry, Forge Master Lubor. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Sava, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. Uh... But, but what do you think? What do I think indeed? It's sharp-ish, but it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but... One that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who you found to teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that, hmm? The butcher? The hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule hmm. number one in any business, Sava. Know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable. But only just. I'd say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was wondering, uh, what would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I'd do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. 
For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an absolute fortune. Mm -mm. You did there good. Goes a master, all right. It looks like congratulations are in order. I couldn't have done it without you. So much for the Forge Master's riddle, though, eh? The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all. Meaning, I had you run around for no good reason. You've passed your test. That's all that matters. You'll have a forge of your own in no time. And when I do, I'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen. The, the fourth wall that got broken. Hey, I literally just wasted your time doing a fucking side quest. Literally wasted my time doing a side quest. And I got a goblin coin out of that. For fuck's sakes. God damn this Troy. This fucking blah blah system. But needless to say. We are going to conclude this session here. On this note, uh, we are on the hunt for Kuka, and hopefully in the next section we can handle some business. Again, I do thank you guys so much, so much, so much, so much for you guys watching the video, supporting the channel. We are slowly approaching 100 subs, and once we do hit that milestone, um, we will be doing an exclusive stream on the youtube just more of an introductory piece here to introduce myself to the channel introduce myself to the new members of the community that i've started to build here on the youtube platform again i, I do this knowing that hey um trying to make something out of nothing here and again i do appreciate all the growth here again if you're not following my socials um you guys do see them cycling in the frame throughout the video i do have links in the, the description of my videos and in the, the about me section of the youtube channel i'm on everything youtube twitter to twit us instagram tiktok you know the jazz uh big poppy etj Everything else but Twitter. Twitter is Biggie Plays, Twitch TV, TTV, TTV, Biggie Plays, TTV. But without the further ado, I appreciate you guys here. I will catch you guys on the next video. And without further ado, roll the damn outro. Peace. Yeah. Anime villain.